This is the Cleveland Podcast. Hey, Cleveland! This is the first ever hiking episode in a new series from the Cleveland Podcast. My name is Caesar, and I'm a big fan of hiking, backpacking, camping, and really a lot of other outdoor activities too. Today, we'll be talking about something that you'll probably see if you go hiking in Northeast Ohio, and that's the blue trail markers along the Buckeye Trail. What in blue blazes are you talking about? Excuse me? Who are you? I'm old timey Western guy. And I don't reckon you're qualified to talk about no trail markers. You live in Cleveland. Ain't that right? Yeah, I do. Why why do you ask? I do suppose that makes you nothing but a city slicker. You reckon you're gonna blaze some trails in the middle of a city? Ha 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 ha. Old timey Western guy, there's a national park right here in Northeast Ohio. There are tons of amazing metro parks too, and there's pretty great trails in all of those parks where people can have a great experience hiking. You mean that you go out walking up a hill just for fun? I do believe that somebody stole your rudder. What are you saying? Listen, you seem like a nice fella and everything, but when it comes to knowing about trailblazing, you couldn't teach a hen to cluck. Wow. You couldn't tell Dawn from Wild Honey. Where did you learn about trail markers living in a city? Well, I've learned from hiking a lot, and, you know, there's also the internet. The what's her nets? The internet, you know, the World Wide Web. Ain't never heard of it. There are a lot of people in Cleveland who love to go out for a hike. It seems to me that you're just barking it and not, but I suppose you might find some city folk just like yourself that you might cur a favor with. Well, it's been fun, but it's time for me to cut and run. Happy trails to you, Caesar. (sighs) See you later, old-timey western guy. Anyways, let's get back to today's topic. The Blue Blazes of Ohio's Buckeye Trail. If you've ever gone hiking in Ohio, you may have come across some blue paint marks on the trees alongside the trail that you were on. These markings are actually called blazes. Blaze is a word that has a lot of different meanings, And as I started looking into it, I realized that these different meanings mostly seem to be loosely related in one way or another. The first most obvious definition that I found for blaze is in reference to a fire. I think that everybody is familiar with that use of the term. Blazing might mean to burn or shine brightly like the sun. You might hear somebody say, That sun sure is a blazing today. Similarly, blazing as a verb can mean that something is happening with intensity like having blazing fast internet speeds, or a blazing fast athlete, or as old-timey western guy might say, He came in with guns a-blazing. Which in the literal sense would have meant that uh, someone was firing their gun repeatedly and quickly. (laughs) Guns a-blazing, you know? Figuratively, though, that same term might mean that someone would come into a debate ready to argue their side with extreme passion or intensity. But what does any of this have to do with markings on a tree? According to thefreedictionary.com, blaze in this sense ultimately comes from an old Norse noun, meaning a white mark on a horse's face or on a cow's face. In its literal sense, blazing a trail originally referred to the practice of making white marks on trees by chipping off their bark. The white bark on a tree would have stood out or shined brightly in contrast to the rest of the tree in that same way that a white stripe on a horse's face would have shined brightly in contrast to its otherwise much darker body. The people who first chipped out markings on trees in order to create a trail would have appropriately been called trailblazers. And these trailblazers led the way for people who would later follow that trail. The people who came later would use the markings that those trailblazers left as a guide to get where they're going. Today, the term trailblazing is used figuratively to describe somebody who is a pioneer in their field of work. For example, Someone who invents a new type of technology before anyone else thinks of it might be considered someone who blazes a trail for others who will use that technology and improve upon it in the future. Okay, so these blue blazes that you see in Ohio, what do they have to do with the saying, What in blue blazes? As I did my research for this episode, I really didn't see much to indicate that there was any link between the old sayings and the actual markings themselves. The saying, which is at least a couple of hundred years old, 19th century, is a reference to hell. 
Wet and Blue Blazes would have meant what the hell? What in the hell? It's hotter than Blue Blazes. Would have meant it's hotter than hell. Also, blue light in a fire burns with more energy than yellow fire. So hotter than Blue Blazes is really, 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 really hot. It's hotter than a yellow flame. It's hotter than a blue flame. And it's hotter than hell. When it comes to the saying, some think that the color blue was chosen strictly for the sake of alliteration, which is the repetition of the same consonant at the beginning of multiple words in the same sentence. Like, for example, rubber baby buggy bonkers. Rubber baby bubby. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Say that five times real fast. The blue blazes in Ohio, however, merely indicate that you are on the Buckeye Trail. And thankfully, there doesn't really seem to be much of a connection to hell. I wondered if they just chose the color blue for the heck of it because they liked it, but I didn't really know. So I jumped on the Facebook site of uh, the Buckeye Trail Association, and I asked, why are the markings blue? Does it have anything to do with the whole saying of blue blazes? Hopefully I don't script this last name, Andy Niekamp, N-I-E-K-A-M-P. And... He wrote a book called Captain Blue on the Blue Blazes. So apparently a lot of this has to do with the Appalachian Trail. And then what he says is, the Appalachian Trail is marked with white blazes. Side trails of the Appalachian Trail are marked with blue blazes. The early creators of the Buckeye Trail envisioned it someday being a side trail of the Appalachian Trail. So they selected blue paint. Grandma Emma Gatewood, Ohio's most famous hiker, is said to have donated $20 to purchase the first can of blue paint for the Buckeye Trail. In reality, that $20 bought several cans of blue paint. It should be noted, he says, that the official blue color of the Buckeye Trail is sweeping blue, number 2408 from Sherwin-Williams. The blazes are 2 by 6 rectangles. The trail is blazed in both directions so that it can be hiked on in either direction, clockwise or counterclockwise. Again, his name is Andy, N-I-E-K-A-M-P, and his book is called Captain Blue on the Blue Blazes, the first solo through hike of Ohio's 1,444-mile Buckeye Trail. Okay, so there's no connection between the sayings and the choice of color for the Buckeye Trail, but that doesn't mean they don't have fun with it. If you go to the Buckeye Trail Association's website, uh, you see them playing around with the sayings. It's, It's kind of fun. One commenter who replied to me on that Facebook post uh, says that when she gets lost on the Buckeye Trail, she always says, where in blue blazes am I? And speaking of the websites of the Buckeye Trail Association, you can learn a lot about the Buckeye Trail and where it goes by going to BuckeyeTrail.org or by visiting their Facebook site. For nearly 1,444 miles, the website says, the Buckeye Trail winds around Ohio, reaching into every corner of the state. From a beachhead in Lake Erie near Cleveland to a hilltop overlooking the Ohio River in Cincinnati, a hiker can experience a little bit of all that Ohio has to offer. The Buckeye Trail is filled with lots of amazing hikes. From my experience, it's better maintained and more traveled in some parts than it is in others. Fortunately for us in Northeast Ohio, the trail is pretty well maintained here as it winds through Cuyahoga Valley National Park, Brecksville Reservation, Bedford Reservation, North and South Chagrin Reservations, as well as Penitentiary Glen in Kirtland, if I said all that right, Minor Lagoons, and Minor Headlands. Knowing the different meanings of these trail markers can really help to prevent you from getting lost. So let's do a quick overview. One blue mark on the Buckeye Trail means that the trail goes straight ahead. Two marks means that there's a sharp turn. So if the top mark is to the right of the bottom mark, then the trail turns right, and vice versa. If the top mark is on the left and the bottom is on the right, then the trail turns left. The Buckeye Trail actually splits and goes in two different directions here in Northeast Ohio, and that happens near Deer Lake Cave in the Brexville Reservation. One leg travels north towards Lake Erie and Minor Headlands, and the other one goes west. Again, if you want to learn more about the Buckeye Trail, go ahead and visit their website. I'm pretty sure that we'll probably talk a lot more about this in future episodes. Now that you know all about the blue blazes of Northeast Ohio, I hope that you'll get out there and go hiking. Cleveland, Ohio is known as the Forest City, and for those who take advantage of the great hikes that you can find in Northeast Ohio, it's just a short trip away to get lost in nature. But you won't actually get lost because 
Now you know just to follow the blue blazes. I hope to have several more hiking episodes in the near future, so please visit us at theclevenpodcast.com for a directory to all of the ways that you can interact with the show in the future. Like and follow us on Facebook in order to stay updated when new episodes come out. If you'd like to find our sources, links to Andy's book, links to the Buckeye Trail Association websites, check out the episode notes in the photo albums of our Facebook site. That's where they'll be. Thanks for listening, and see you on the trails. Thanks for listening to the show. You can find us online at facebook.com slash the Cleveland Podcast, or get links to all of our various different social media pages at theclevenpodcast.com. Our episode notes for this and other episodes can be found in the photo albums on our Facebook page. You can follow along as you listen, as well as learn more from our sources about the subjects that we cover. You can also find links on our website to our YouTube channel, Spreaker, Google Play, Apple iTunes, Spotify, and more. Leave us a voicemail at 216-200-7940. Send us an email at theclevenpodcast at gmail.com or interact with us on Reddit, Facebook, or Twitter. We'd love to use your comments, ideas, and feedback in the show. We are a community-based podcast, so the more community interaction, the better. Have a great day, Cleveland. Where did you learn about trail markers? Living in the city. I'm going to barf.